In this video, we're going to have a quick look at how to take a rainbow patch and export it as C++ and then load it into Highs and use it as a audio effect in Highs. So first up, we do need to have a full license for Max because the full license for Max contains Rainbow. Rainbow is an optional extra which will cost you some money. You can't do this with Max for Live, for example, if you have a copy of Live Suite. You do need the full version of Max with the Rainbow extension. So let's go to a simple way to do this. We're going to pop over to our extras folder in Max and we're going to come down to the Rainbow Guitar Pedals Pack. Now, if you haven't got this, you can actually get this in the Package Manager inside Max. You could search for it in the Package Manager and install it, it's free. So we're going to use that as our basic effect source for this example. And inside the guitar pedals here, we can see we've got like chorus, flanger, phaser, etc. So let's just choose the chorus to keep it simple. This will open up the patcher and you can see it is a full rainbow patcher with parameters and various ways to tweak the settings. But all we've really got to do for this is enter into the rainbow patch itself. So we're just going to double click here on the RNBO tilde object to open up rainbow. So here is the contents of the chorus. We can see quite a lot going on here, but to keep it really simple, all we've got to do is visit the right hand side of the toolbar and show the export section. So in here we're going to move over to the C++ source code export function, click onto the little button over here, and now we can customize how we're going to export this code. So the first thing to do is to give it a decent name for the export feature. So I'm just going to call this chorus, keep it nice and simple. And as Christoph mentioned in his GitHub, we need to change the class name to be equivalent. So I'm just going to make sure these two fields have the same label. We also need to disable any polyphony from Rainbow because Highs will handle that for us if it's a polyphonic instrument. Finally, we're going to choose a location to output our source code. So I'm going to click choose here and move to my desktop make a new folder, call it C++, just to keep it nice and simple, and select that folder. Now, when we click the export button in the bottom right-hand corner of the patcher, Rainbow will do its magic. It will export our chorus patch as C++. We can see it happens really quickly, and that is it. So let's now move over to highs, and we've got here a really simple little setup with a waveform generator just for an audio test. So the way to sort of configure this for highs is really easy. We're going to move back to the location of our folder on our desktop for highs. Here's my rainbow example highs folder. We're going to go to the DSP networks folder, third party, and in here we need to make a new folder entitled SRC. So we'll just call this SRC for source. And in this location, we're going to copy and paste our C++ code from rainbow. So let's locate that onto our desktop. We've got C++. Now there's quite a lot of code here. We're really only concerned about the chorus CPP, but we do need the whole thing. So let's copy this contents of the entire folder into our source folder. You can have multiple rainbow patches in here, but if you were to, for example, copy over a reverb, you probably have to replace these files. They're not totally necessary for the algorithm, but they're used from the compilation from rainbow. So let's come back to highs. Now we've done that, we can go to our tools menu and click on the create C++ template for rainbow patch. We'll see our chorus showing up in the drop down menu on the top left hand corner. So things to note in here is to be aware of your channel count. If you're, for example, making an LFO, it might be a modulation source that might only have one channel of output. There's a lot more you could do with Rainbow, but to keep it simple, we're just going to make sure we've got two channels and we're pointing at our chorus code. Let's press OK. So this has created our DLL. What we need to do now is actually compile it via the export function in highs. We're going to choose Compile DSP Networks as DLL. And this will give us the opportunity here to make an empty script effects network, which highs seems to need. So once we click that, we'll see that pops over here on the left. And now we've got a chance to compile our code. And we should be able to see our chorus is available down here, listing the nodes to compile. Let's press OK. This will launch a bash script to launch the producer and to do a compilation for us in the background. So this will take a little bit of time, but will be fairly quick. So 
So after a few minutes, we can see the process has completed. We have had a few warnings here, but nothing to worry about. So now we can quit terminal and we are instructed to quit highs and reboot the project. So let's actually exit highs. We can come back to launch highs. I've got the alias on the desktop here. And we can come back and reload in our project we're working in. And we'll see now that if we instigate in our module tree a new hard-coded master effect, we'll be able to visit that window and select our compiled DLL. So here is a chorus from Rainbow. And obviously you can script up all these parameters in the hard-coded effect as you would usually in highs. Awesome.